what is up guys, CrackerJacker80 here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Black Ops 4 beta gameplay on the map frequency using the KN57, uh, and I went did pretty well this game, I went 23-5, and 5, which is awesome. Uh, probably one of my best gameplays on the beta. <laughs> Obviously this was not my first game, I did have my first game in Black Ops 3 for that beta, uh, but in this one I just decided to get my best gameplay and show it to you guys, and give my thoughts on the beta overall. So first off, uh, KM57 with uh, Red Dot, Quick Draw, and Grip, pretty standard. Um, it's kind of like the KN in Black Ops 3, and uh, I enjoyed this gun a lot. I also uh, enjoyed the ICR, which is the first Assault Rifle you unlock, and I use that pretty often as well. Uh, one thing about this game which is interesting is that um, the maps are laid out, you know, with the classic three-lane maps, um, but what I've noticed is that the middle, there's... On a lot of the maps I played, the middle of the map is kind of a big square where there's a lot of stuff happening. And then around that big square, there are a bunch of close quarter combat situations. And then outside of that close quarter combat situation um, area, there's a lot of just straight lanes. So this game caters more towards some machine guns rather than assault rifles or anything like that. So oftentimes I would get tired of using my assault rifle and I would simply just switch to a submachine gun out of just anger of getting killed over and over again by guys rushing around with their submachine guns and spraying me down. But in this gameplay I stuck with my assault rifle and it turned out pretty well. Went 23 and 5, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so overall I think the beta is a lot of fun. I don't have too many major complaints about it. Um, I mean, I didn't get to play that often because I didn't play it all Saturday. And I played a bit on Sunday and a bit on Monday uh, before the beta actually went down uh, or went away uh, until the actual game comes out. Um, so not too many major complaints right now. Um, I thought I would dislike the actual uh, the med kit and heal or not med kit, but when you have to heal yourself up after getting shot at and it's not no more auto regen. But actually, I sort of enjoy it and I think it's um, more you have to be more strategic about when you heal and um, you know using that to your advantage and it's actually I got used to it pretty quickly and it's not that hard to do I thought it would actually be like you know have to move your hand to press a button but it's LB which is right it's a really easy button to press right on your controller just don't even have to move your hand at all you just move your finger up boom LB and you're good to go so it's not that bad of a thing in the game and I got used to it fairly quickly so I'm not too um, I'm not gonna be too hard on that aspect of the game Next up is uh, score streaks. I didn't really get to use many score streaks because <laughs> a lot of my games went kill, kill, death, kill, death, kill, kill, death. I had a lot of high kill gameplays, but also high death gameplays, so I didn't really get any major score streaks. But I did get to use um, a couple. I got to use the RCXD, which I'm very glad to have back in in Call of Duty in general. I love the RCXD. It's great, a lot of fun to use, and also the UAV, which is you know obviously. Like UAV, classic UAV. And a couple times got to use the Hellstorm missile, which was okay. Um, but one thing that is a little strange to me personally is that score streaks are fairly hard to get, um, especially in uh, games that do not have or game modes that do not have objectives. So the base, the RCXD base score is, I think, something like 450 or 500 score, which is five kills in TDM. Which is, I mean, that's a lot for an RCXD. And a, a UAV is a bit higher than that, like 550 maybe. Um, so it's definitely a lot harder to get score streaks, which I found to be interesting. And it's kind of annoying because I like to be able to get those a bit e more easily. But I guess with specialist abilities and stuff like that, you're going to accumulate more score um, than you think. So really, it's not too bad. Um, and I'll probably get used to that as well. Now, one thing that I also enjoyed about that score feature, um, one thing that's actually a good thing is that the game is more based around damage rather than kills, so one thing I noticed is that you know kills are a lot less important, and the game kind of awards you points based on damage dealt to a player. Um, so instead of when you pull up your, the scoreboard in a game or something like that, the first thing you see is damage dealt. Well, I think the first thing you see is score, and then damage dealt, or something like that. And it puts less of a priority on actual kills and deaths, which I found interesting. And that's how they give you score. So if you shoot a player for, I think a player has a base damage or a base health of 150 or something like that. So if you shoot a player for like 48 or 50 damage, um, it'll actually give you the full um, 100 points in TDM for a kill if a teammate kills that enemy, uh, which I found interesting. It's more uh, less about like assists giving you 50 points, but you actually get the full 100 points for the kill, which is nice. 
and I really enjoyed that, and that actually helps you get your score streaks faster as well. So it kind of makes sense that the score streaks are a bit higher, but I would, you know, like it if they were <laughs> a bit more easy to get because score streaks are a lot of fun. And I, like I said, I didn't really get to experiment with higher score streaks, didn't unlock the care package at all uh, when I was playing, and uh, so I don't really have anything to say about those score streaks. I heard they were a bit, um, a bit weak, and they tried to buff them a little bit, but who knows. Anyway, um, next up, specialists. What I found when I was playing this game, I didn't really know much of many of the specialists, so oftentimes I would just have the game randomly choose one for me before the game actually started, rather than me just picking one on my own. And that way I could just experiment with a bunch of different specialists and see which one I like the best. Uh, I played a lot with the, with the battery, which was pretty good. Uh, Firebreak is pretty good. Uh, other than that, I don't really remember many of the ones that I play with, but uh, I just oftentimes let the game pick one for me, and that was the best way to experiment with different ones. Now, most of the time playing this beta, I played uh, Chaos TDM, which is 6v6 TDM, uh, not the normal 5v5 that most of the game modes in this game have, which I personally don't think will be that much of a problem, because I think they said that they designed a lot of the maps to revolve around 5v5 combat rather than 6v6, so I was just playing this one because it was TDM and Kill Confirm, and those were two game modes that I enjoy, and it was 6v6, which is more hectic and fun, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, so that was this gameplay. Uh, really enjoyed this beta so far, and I know the Blackout beta is coming out pretty soon as well, so that'll be fun to play. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to upload a Funny Moments something or other later this week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.